Hey guys, in this video, we are wanting to show you a new feature that we added towards the inbound webhook inside of UChat, and that is called the data processing. Inside the data processing, you will be able to do all kinds of uh, pre-processing of the preview sample payload that you get back from an inbound webhook. So an example could be that you are wanting to format the phone number properly that you get back from the data inside of a payload right and so you can properly uh, basically identify the user inside the platform so the other use case that we are going to show you is how to basically filter through the payload data so and only use the ones that you get back basically right so let's go towards the first option and that is formatting the phone number itself so once doing so let's first go and get some data inside the inbound webhook. So I prepared some data here. As you can see, I just have my name and the phone number, but the phone number does not include a, a land code, right? As well as it contains a zero. So let's send this. And as you can see, the status is okay. So if I go back inside of the inbound webhook and press done, we should receive this data. As you can see, we received the data properly. The thing is, this phone number cannot be matched to an existing phone number inside the bot user. You can do this by enabling data processing on the top left corner. And once doing so, you will basically go inside of a JavaScript function where you can basically do all kinds of formats and all kinds of filtering for this sample JSON payload. So first, let's see if we can get the phone number back. So if we take a look and say return uh, payload.phone, then we should only receive the uh, phone number. So if we say test function, you will see that we only get the phone number, right? The thing that we want to do now is to remove the zero. And the way to do so is by basically creating a substring. There we go. And then have a one between brackets. If we test the function now, it should remove the zero at the beginning. So if we take a look, you will see that the zero has been removed. The thing that we want to do next is to include a, basically a land code, right? So for me, I'm living in Hungary and my land code is plus 36. So I want to add plus 36 towards my phone number. And the way to do so is basically by just removing this, this return. And let's go with another payload dot home right and then we are going to say equals plus 36 between single quotes right then the next thing that we want to do is to remove that zero and basically the only thing that we need to do then is just to have another plus so what we are saying towards the program right now for formatting first add the plus 36 and also remove the zero right from the beginning if we test the function now it will not work we will get another error code as you can see on top data processing is missing because we need to return the payload and it's just as simple as say as stating return payload if we say test function now you will see that the phone number has now been formatted towards plus 36 removed the zero and this will allow you to basically format the phone number towards your own liking and be able to match it inside of, uh, basically match it inside of UChat, right? So this is one function that you can use in data processing by formatting phone numbers to the correct format, even though if you receive them incorrectly from your inbound webhook. The next step is to basically filter through all of your JSON sample payload that you get back from an inbound webhook. And with that, only use and only filter out the ones that you want to use. So let's remove all of this formatting of phone number and let me just pull in some more data. So we just pull in some more data. As you can see, uh, I have my email, my status and dummy one through three. But let's say I only want to have certain data pieces available. You can do that inside of the data pre-processing as well by just deleting all the data that you do not want inside the sample JSON payload. The way to do this is by enabling data pre-processing. 
and let me just remove all the data format for the phone. The thing that you need to do is if you want to delete a certain JSON payload value, you only have to insert delete and then basically the payload dot, for example, if I say I want to remove dummy one, I can do so. If I say return payload and say test the function, dummy one should be removed from this payload. As you can see, dummy one has now been removed. And basically you can do the same for all the other data. The only thing that you need to take into account that if you go with another line that you want to delete, insert this symbol. And basically do the same if I say I want to delete the uh, data payload dummy three and say test the payload now, test function, you will see that I removed that one as well. If I want to add another one, right? So let's go with uh, delete payload. And let's say I want to delete the payload for email. I can do so as well. So if I say test function, the email has now been removed from my JSON payload. And this way you can filter through all of the data that you get back and only use the ones that you want to. This will definitely help you in basically preventing the error that exists inside of JSON based custom fields um, with the character limit of 20,000 characters. So if you get a lot of data back, example for, from a Shopify store or from a WooCommerce store, basically delete all of the data that you do not want to use and then you can store everything inside of a JSON array, which has its limits under the 20,000 char character mark. And then from here, you will be able to basically map everything to your, your own liking. Of course, there are many, many use cases for data pre-processing, but just know that, for example, in these types of use cases, which we just showed you, you can easily format the phone number towards your own liking and also be able to filter through the incoming payload. We hope this video helped you in taking your chatbot skills to yet another level. If you like this video, do consider dropping a like. And if you want to get notified soon as more videos like these come out, do press that subscribe button and the bell notification to the right of it. For now, have a great day, take care and talk soon.